outstanding after becoming the first AFL player to be caught using banned steroids. Charles will face the AFL tribunal next week where his immediate footballing future will be decided. Justin Charles faced the music today. A well of emotion overcoming the first AFL player to test positive for steroid use. I'm in a difficult and unfortunate position. Uh, as the AFL investigation is still taking place, which, I, uh, which will involve a hearing, I'm not in a position to comment further at this time. I hope people will understand. Charles tested positive to banned anabolic steroid Boldenon, a drug his manager says he turned to out of complete frustration at injuries. Well, I guess it was in a, um, a moment of despair. He came off a fantastic season last year and um, he had, had a, you know, played every game. This year he, he got caught out in the first um, Anstec Cup game where he injured his groin and never fully recovered. And then um, by trying to re get fit from that, he found out he was getting worse and injuries were, he become more injury prone and he ended up taking a steroid. Kamov says Charles began using the drug in January and was aware of its consequences, but felt he had no other option. I think he was fairly naive in the situation, but yes, he was aware of the consequences. Well, he weighed it all up and um, he thought that, uh, you know, he'd, he'd give it a try because there was nothing else left to do. He just couldn't get, he couldn't get fully fit. Richmond is standing behind Charles, but responded late last week to the positive test by pulling him out of the club's last two matches. And with pressure building from club sponsors, the Ruckman faces the sack at next week's board meeting. Yeah, the Richmond Football Club has had one of its players uh, being tested positive for drug abuse. Uh, it does have an impact on the club, uh, the club's uh, reputation. Charles will be allowed legal representation at the AFL Tribunal next week to answer the charge, which carries a penalty of up to 22 weeks but his manager says a year-long ban is too severe. I'd love to get him a slap on the wrist and um, he learns from the experience, but somewhere between that and the 22 weeks is what we're you know, obviously looking for. Craig Hutchison, 10 News.